Well, hello everyone. Today project is grounding. This is about the last thing on a solar array that I need to finish. I got a 8 gauge uh, bare solid copper wire and we will be installing it with with these grounding lugs also from Iron Ridge which go into the rails now why I did why I decided to do this well let's see the reason for that is because we don't have any contact between the cap and and the railing over here so my little daughter is helping me record over here it's kind of hard to see right here and she will try sun. to yeah it's because of the sun and the glare so i want to demonstrate this she will hold, she will try to hold the camera right here okay, I'm okay. Has you are tied really, uh, really close all right <laughs> so Guys, can you see the frog so can you see the frog? as you can see i'm touching the cap and I know cap is connected to the uh, uh, three inch pipe that goes down into the screw. However, there is no contact over here from this side on the uh, railing. <laughs> so we gotta provide a ground for that. I, I suspect this happens because I put this track, truck bed coating on the, on the three inch pipe. Well, um, and it's I insulating really, really well right now. I can so see. Can the see next that? thing is Next thing is, um, we gotta ho you hook up a ground to it, okay? And you can see the froggy over there, as she says. All right, let's continue. So the mounting point for them is going to be on the bottom of the rails, together with that bare, solid eight gauge copper wire. And it will go down entire way from the on the solar panels it, it will have a ground up on the east side and the ground here on the west side uh, per plans you're supposed to only have one but i'm gonna have two and of course they're going to be bonded because it's going to be one solid piece of copper wire from one end to the other here's the uh one grounding lug from uh, Iron Ridge. I'm gonna show a method of attachment. It's pretty much the same as the bolts that do hold the solar panels down to the rail. It has the same method of attachment. If this will focus right here, and they kind of grab in. So let's see how this goes. So what I did was install it right here. and it will put itself in a place I'll try to keep it straight with the uh, with the rail itself and sometimes that's difficult underneath the solar panels because somebody I guess forgot forgot to install these or order these actually when time was there to be ordered and installed before all of this was on there. All right, I guess here we are right now. That's it. It's tight on the rail, and then you put your grounding wire in there, and of course, you tighten down the bolt onto the, uh, the stainless steel bolt that it's on it. You tighten it down into the grounding wire and that bonds the rail to the ground now interesting thing is I do only use one per I'm using one grounding lug every other rail why that's because those bolts that hold the, that hold the panels down they have teeth on them that kind of serrated teeth or something whatever they kind of bite into the panel and they immediately take this anodized coating off of them and then it bonds it straight to this and then bonds it straight down to the rail and then 
la uh, rail is bonded to the ground through this lug and of course this wire. Here we have uh, one side of grounding system done. I will go down there and show the other one. And if we come and look, we can see that met method of attachment repeating itself throughout the whole array going all the way down on the bottom. Here's the other side. I'll bury it underneath the rock. And then comes up on the on the right side of a three inch schedule 40 pipe. I will tighten this up. And it goes up there and then to attachment over here. On another note, you can see this film off. Holding on these panels. It's not as no noticeable on these, you know, these bright ones over here, but these black on black, wow. And I can tell you one thing, it does affect production of solar energy. And I will show that on the graphs, at least by a kilowatt for me on this array but this is ridiculous I can't wait for the rain to see what's going to happen okay here we are on my Grafana display uh, you just saw uh, the AC kick out and um, what I'm trying to show you here is uh, production of string one over the period of last six days let's go and view this part of the graph and provide a little bit more explanation um, I commissioned my system as I mentioned in a previous video on March 30th at around 530 um, we charge up a battery at that time and then um, the next day it was raining and it was as cloudy and dark as it could be. So I, I was continuously on um, battery for about 40, 42 or 44 hours. So battery got down to about 15%. Um, April 1st came around and this is this first graph and the solar array was running from 1040 till about 715 that night trying to produce power and charge up a battery. Uh, even at that time that the solar array was not completely done, it was only 36 panels were working out of 48. This only, as I said, shows a production peak, peak power on um, string one from that day. Um, you can see over here and it produced the whole three strings that day produced 61 kilowatt hours. Uh, you can see here that max on that day was 3.46 kilowatts. That day is sunny and every other day was was sunny and is still sunny and we're expecting some rain tomorrow so it'll be interesting to see what happens with with the normal normal uh, springtime weather here in uh, Georgia area which is you know raining 10 minutes and you know sunny for next two hours so we'll see how that works out what I'm trying to show over here is soiling meaning that all that pollen that it's on the panels right now that you show which was shown in the, in the previous clip how does it affect it over the period of six days so on a day one after that rain on April 1st I pulled 3.46 kilowatt maximum power out of string one the next day the max was 3.3 I think 3.35 then 
the next day was about 3, 3.41. However, we had a couple of clouds that day passed by. Then on April 4th, all I could get is 3.18 and then so on and so forth, 3.09 on uh, April 5th and whatnot. So as you can see, the trend is it's going down due to all that pollen. Um, so definitely the dirt, pollen, what else can affect the production of solar array and definitely for me it shows and it's around kilowatt kilowatt and a half from all four strings they are not they are not producing so that's what I wanted to show I can't wait for the rain and you know in the next videos we will go and uh, show how this Grafana and the InfluxDB and the MPP solar work